days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. Good morning. We are all loaded up. We are headed to Kansas City in the RV. It is my cousin Jay's birthday party. I actually don't know how old he is. Girls, do you know how old he is? I have the babies with me. Brad took the big kids over to the RV already. We're just leaving from the shop that we keep it in, my dad's shop, and we're gonna hit the road. Keep you posted. Not quite ready to go yet. I ping, pinged, pang. I pinged, pung my phone from my watch. It was not in the car. Let's try it in here. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I would do. What I would do without this. Ah. <laughs> that was really weird. <laughs> I sounded like a goat. We made it to, oh, did you bonk your head on the window? We made it to Worlds of Fun in Kansas City. We are parked right in front of the Mamba and we realized that we cannot put our slide out. Have, you, have we vlogged at all? Nope. Okay. So they don't even know what happened. No. Yeah. See what happened was. Well, let's sort a picture here of what happened. And now we're dealing with the repercussions. <laughs> that was being held by zip ties? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Well, and a rope thing. Yeah, and these. I need to get me one of these. What is that? Like I said, it's like a, you know, a dealie oh. that you would use on your bread. Oh. Bread. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's awesome. This had that thing wound on there pretty good. So, funny story. Dennis bought these to fix his awning. Because their awning got caught in a windstorm down in Texas and ripped off. There. And so he had these on hand. So I think that should be good. We have Callie with us. We have Lala with us. She yep. rode on up. Callie's Callie taking a nap. Okay. She's not sleeping though. Birthday boy is coming to get me. Oh, is he? Nancy's not? I think Nancy. Oh, okay. Birthday boy. We're up here for a birthday. So, as Brad was pulling out of the uh, fan warehouse. on my head, the warehouse, right as the tire, like everything was good, everything was lined up, both sides were clear, but then right as the, it was such a tight fit between the um, sides, the side on one side, and my dad's boat on the other side. And so Brad was as close as he could have been to the boat. There was about six inches of clearance on the other side, this side. Laurie was watching, but as the tire, rolled off of the cement and into the gravel, the whole RV shifted from side to side. And so it just like scraped and detached, like broke the awning, basically. It could have been much worse. Um, we'll definitely need to get a new awning, but then with the awning the way it was, we weren't sure if we'd be, even be able to drive it up to Kansas City, because when you're going 65 miles an hour down the road, if the awning isn't secured, then it could just flap and then fly off and you just can't have that, obviously. So Brad and my dad secured it with zip ties and This thing that is just thing. awesome. It's like a, uh, that you would use on end of a bread twisty tie, but like way better. Yeah, it held the awning the whole time. Like a bread twisty tie, is it like rubbery? What? Rubbery so on the outside, yeah. so it's metal on the inside. That's genius. Yeah. So that worked, we made it to Kansas City. We unhooked it, and now we can push the slide out. Bear's gotta go potty. Okay. Good, because the babies need to take a nap. <laughs> Soon. Yeah. Not right now. Not right this time. We need to start the engine. This RV park is way, way nicer than I pictured. I'm not sure what I imagined at Worlds of Fun in Kansas City, but it's super nice. They have like privacy. So all the all the sites are nice and level. They're concrete. And they have these bushes to create privacy between each site. There, this is a really nice park. It is, yeah. And they have little cabins if you don't have an RV and you just want to rent a little cabin. And then you're literally right next to Worlds of Fun, which is right over there. That is called the Mamba, and that right there is the detonator. It goes all the way up to the top and then drops. That one's a fun one. Too bad they're not open because I would go ride some roller coasters.
this is not a bad spot spot at all i would definitely recommend this rv park obviously it's right by worlds of fun right over there's oceans of fun it's got a nice little store there i'm sure it gets pretty darn busy in the summer ah so went to the little store got got the kids some candy just to get them out of the rv because the babies are napping and man that really stinks like the fixing the arm part it's not gonna be that bad but it's this paint repair that's gonna that's something i won't be able to do myself so that stinks it's always something with rvs you know you could be as careful as you possibly can and then something as simple as just going off the cement too close bam so yeah that's what happens when you are when you rv so we ventured out to come look at these cabins the yeah it's well there's no alligator but i bet there's a lot of like frogs and stuff yeah, yeah it's a pond i bet i bet there's a lot of frogs yeah these are real nice Nice cabins. Looks like they're just like trailers they brought in here and permanent, you know, made them permanent. Hello, 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 hello. We came on the other side. Didn't quite see the warning, do not enter restricted area sign. Oh, well. That's a giant roller coaster. <laughs> Ladies, your entertainment for the evening is Leapfrog Story Bunny and Bear. Is that right? So the girls are eating some meatballs that I made this morning. I found some meat on sale. So I got it. And I made baby meatballs. It's, I don't know, just... I feel so stupid talking about getting meat on sale. Like, who cares? But I made meatballs that have broccoli and carrots and ground turkey and a little bit of cheese and some garlic and oats but I, that I made into oat flour. And then I just, I made some in the oven and I made some on the stove. And they turned out into perfect little meatballs. The babies are having those yeah. with some blueberries. Also today, I went around the house and room by room cleaned it up enough that I could take a photo of it. Oh, I just stepped on something wet. Like each room I could take a photo of it because we are putting this place on the market and it's a pocket listing for a while. So like actual MLS listing will come after we're out and I think the photos that our real estate agent's gonna take are gonna be of it empty. So, I'm getting photos of it like staged, room by room, so I only have to clean one room at a time. And it was kind of a lot of work, just like shuffling things around today. But I got maybe half the photos that we're gonna need done. And the other half, like the rooms are not finished. We have shelves that we need to put here before we photograph this room and just stuff like that. So, are we doing, we need to, are we gonna do like the surround before we take pictures? That should be in five more weeks. Five weeks? That's a lot of time. And then I got the pantry, but I didn't get like this side yet because I need to clear off all that stuff out, so. Please try again. That was my day, and parenting these children. I sold our box. Oh yeah! So, if you're new around here, which you're probably not, you but say if, that like every single video. Well, that's because we have very loyal subscribers and not too many new folks around here. I don't usually have a beard, beard this long. I had two people comment on how long my beard is getting. And I was like, well, it's going to be gone Friday because I have reserves this weekend. Anyway, we own, we purchased three, actually we purchased four lots. One we purchased with uh, Rachel's parents like down just the street in a cul-de-sac where we were gonna build our home. 
We're family friends with our neighbors. So we said, hey, we're not gonna build our house anymore. Would you wanna buy these lots? And that way they can ensure that no one's gonna build around them or like they can sell them to whoever they choose if they, you know, like if they have some friends that wanna build next to them or their kids or whatever. So they are buying our lots. So that's awesome. So that's like another, sure. So that's like another thing off the list of things to do to get done. It's always something when you're a homeowner, isn't it? Are we leaving this washer and dryer here? Did you hear me say, ain't nothing a little duct tape can't fix? I think probably. And now we're taking it with us. Okay. We are also having the conversation about what we're gonna do with our appliances that we've already purchased. So our builder out in Georgia, uh -huh. the one we call it South Carolina, uh -huh. asked if we want the laundry hookups in the apartment or in the garage. Oh. I said preferably the apartment, but if we have to in the garage, it's fine. Yeah. I'm sure Lala would rather have her laundry right there and we'll have access to it for, for second time. loads um but also maybe she would want it there because it would take up less room exactly we should probably ask her. yeah we should probably ask her she'll say she wants it in the apartment you might guess yeah because she said multiple times how it's annoying because right now she has to do her laundry she has to walk out to the right the situation is earlier a picture frame fell on that hose down there. I repaired the hose. However, my arms aren't long enough to reach down there to put the hose back on the pipe. I, I put Bear back there. Bear couldn't reach it either. Well, he could, but he didn't want to do it. Now, I tried... So Rachel got back there, but she can't like bend down. Um, I can, so this, uh, what do you call this thing? Cabinet? <laughs> this cabinet is anchored into the wall, so I could unscrew it and move the cabinet. There's like 10 inches. But that's a pain in the butt. There's like 10 inches back there, so I can get back there, but I can't, I can do this. Right. But I would need to like, the, yeah, I don't have enough room to do so the what I, thing I need to do. So what I'm going to do is hold Rachel upside down. <laughs> um, you might want to pull your pants down or up, I mean, so I can hold. <laughs> Couples challenge. Get as low as you can. There you go. The problem is my back isn't going to bend like that. You can't, can you fit like that? Yeah, well, will my boobs fit in here? That's the thing. Are you gonna fit? I don't know. I, I think I would. Okay. <laughs> but I'd hate to get all the way up there and then not. Well, let's try it. How are you gonna grab me? Well, just put your, uh, do one foot at a time. So I'm gonna go up on the wall? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I need to do a handstand. Yeah, basically. How did you just do it before? Can you, like, put your shoulder down there? Like, get your arms down there. There you go. There you go. There you go. Is that going to fit? I don't think my head's going to fit. My head won't fit. Well, just go crooked, because I could get my head down there. How about your other leg first? Okay. Oh, hold on. Okay. 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 Ready? Yeah. Okay, go. We should probably move the internet. Are you gonna hold my other leg too? I don't know how I can. I don't think I can pull you up on this. Exactly. Okay, go. I I mean, my chest is laying on this. <laughs> I can't just go. Alright, that's not gonna work. Uh, maybe you could hold me. <laughs> well, that didn't work. I know you're dying. Dying to know if I got it. Well, I did. Any excuse I have to wear this headlamp, 
I take it. I love that thing. So what I ended up doing was literally just pulling this out, pulling this out as far as I possibly could without unhooking it to the wall. And so the end that was an original, the end that was originally down there was getting like really hard to manipulate. So what I did is ended up taking it off this end because that end was still really good. So I put that end down there and I was able to jimmy it on. And then I put the crappy end up here because I could actually reach it and work with it. So, got it.